Hey there, everybody. We've made it to extra time. Hey. Da, 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 da. We made it to extra time. Hey there, Radix. Is uh, it everybody or hey there, buddy? I, I always get confused. It's Well, it's like, it's everybody, but it's not so clearly enunciated because I want it to come off as kind of folksy. Oh, like, Yo, okay. So everybody, right? So, here. so hey, this everybody. is your thing. This is. I don't know. That this is my, your go to. Well, of all the things to be my thing, okay. if that's my thing, that's, uh, hey there, that's pretty telling. Hey Shall we get buddy. to some good questions? Well, Should we get to some questions? Good luck. Should we just keep making fun of me? Uh, Shrinjoy wants to say way. another. Oh, this isn't really a question. This uh, is just uh -huh. a comment about uh -huh. me. Uh -huh. Another comrade in team lined notebook. Oh. I guess Shrinjoy likes likes a lined notebook. Uh, uh -huh. Great. Yeah. Well, okay. Full disclosure. Yeah. Let's. let's <laughs> it used to be a laptop. Yeah. There was a lot. Right? I used to. I yes. had my laptop. Full long laptop. Right. But because uh, bullying. There was some yeah. bullying going on. Well, I. I Perhaps uh, some of the, maybe not coming from me, but from others. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't yeah. you. Who would, who would be a likely? Uh, that would be Craig Brown. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yes. What did he? And, and maybe even a quiet Stevie Nichol would also take yeah. a shot at the, uh, at the laptop. And so then you moved on to a. A legal pad, I guess it could best be described. But as. you would think that one legal pad would be enough. No. No. <laughs> well, there's one. No, no, no. Uh, okay, you're gonna. No, no, no. Here. See, there's context to this. There's yeah. nuance to this. There's more. There's another legal, yeah. That, that he throws away when we go uh -huh. and to start our segments. And there are pages and pages that keep coming. Just now, a few pages. Now, a few. Now, what is the difference? What information okay. is yeah. here okay. that is not there? Or what information is here that is useless that you just throw it over there? I, I'm so glad you asked. So uh -huh. this, <laughs> okay. this, this notepad here has kind of the data, right? So the info about what's happening today. Bundesliga, who's playing who, where they are on the uh -huh. table, what's on the line, what was said mid midweek, kind of the, this is your uh -huh. context, right? Okay. And then this notepad is for when our producers say, this is the highlight we're going to do first, then we're going to show you uh, the table, then we're going to show you the sound bite from Mourinho. So this is where I keep kind of the order, okay. right? This is the order, uh -huh. and then this is, this is the, the, the data, the good stuff. But you choose to throw the good stuff away. Well, because the good stuff, I write it down because it's in my head. So it's in my head. You know, it's, it's up here. It's just, this is just kind of how you get it there. This needs to be wait, in front wait, wait, of me wait, wait, no. so goes, I know where we're going wait, in the wait, show. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. So it goes from your head to the notepad and from the notepad back to your head? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but, but a little, but now it's really in there. You know, it's. Uh, before it wasn't. Uh, before it was coming out. Etched in stone. You know, here and now I know I can tell you Hoffenheim started the weekend 10 points back of Dortmund. Okay. In case you wanted to uh, know. Okay, so the two <laughs> notepads are necessary. Well, because you can't have all of it on one notepad, then you're flipping back and forth, right? Right. You see what I mean? <laughs> well, no, not yeah. really. <laughs> two notepads, plus in this studio we have a little bit uh, limited table space. Uh huh. So. There's a lot of factors. I just I, pre I appreciate our guy uh, Stringjoy, you know, who's also on Team Line Notepad. The really <laughs> no, you're the, the captain of Team. The thing is, Burley started calling me Laptop Larry, and I just like couldn't take it anymore. So I had to, I had to go. I had to but go. you're the captain of this team. You're, I am. You're not just I'm a committed. player. I'm committed. Oh no no no. Yeah, I'm the driving. I'm the Jose Mourinho of Notepad. Oh well, that, then this team is going nowhere. Easy. Yeah. Easy. We might win a Europa League or something. All right. Uh, next question comes from Jerron. He wants to know: Surely, if Manchester United lose against Arsenal, uh, they play Wednesday at Old Trafford, I believe. Uh, then that's it for Mourinho, isn't it? That's what Jerron wants to know. See, you believe that? The, the thing is that it, it has been it for Mourinho for a long time. Since the Newcastle and, game, right? And then, but people, they'll hang up, or they'll hang on their hopes on things like the Newcastle comeback. Or they'll say things like, well, we get a result here, we get a result there, and that gives them hope, and they think, okay, now we're going to turn it around. No. This is, it, it's, it's a long death, but it's a death nonetheless. And, and eventually it's going to You never up. see this coming out of the tailspin. No, 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 no. Because you may see it all of a sudden, you think that the team is going to turn it around, but it's, it's, just, it's, it's just a sign that maybe they're going to get better, but it's no more than that. It's not really going to go back to where it needs to be under Jose Mourinho and with this current group of players. There has to be change and dramatic change, and dramatic change starts with the match. Speaking of dramatic change, that's our next question from Stefan. He says, who do you think will be Manchester United manager next season? And will United still play in Champions League next season? Let's start with the second question first. Do you think they'll qualify for Champions League? No. Unless, well, no. I, actually, I, do, I just don't see it. I, I, don't, I don't see, there are too many teams in front of them that 
have strengthened and have become better. And uh, Manchester City is going nowhere, Liverpool is going nowhere, Chelsea is not going away, Spurs is not going away. So Liverpool, I mean, I, it, where's the space? Arsenal has improved on the United Emery, so where's the space for Manchester United? And all these teams have now created separation from Manchester United. Manchester United is a mid-table team, and that's the way they're playing. Now, if you have other expectations as to what this team should be, good luck. Right now, the way they're playing, it is, it is a fair reflection of where they are on the table. I'm not going to ask you to guess who you think would take over, but if you were running the club, is, is there a name or a couple of names that would seem like good fits to you? Depends on, on what direction I want to go. If I want to just... What are the options? Like, what are the options okay. direction-wise? Let, let, let's, let's just say I want to burn the whole place down. Yeah. I want to say, you know what? We are starting over, and not only are we starting over, we are going to have a change in philosophy, a change in the way we approach every day, how we treat the players, what do we do about the organization as a whole, and I'm, I'm changing everything. I'm saying, Diego Simeone, mm. how about you come over here? People are going to say, well, it's not the prettiest, too, and this is not... But I'm changing a culture, and Simeone can do that. And, and, and give this team something different and give this team a, a total facelift as to a team that is now being questioned by his own man by their own manager uh, Jose Mourinho and that they are they don't tackle they don't defend well they're not mad dogs and they're not physical enough well if that's indeed the case uh, as to what's missing from Manchester United who would bring that to this club a guy like Diego Simeone that's if I want to burn the whole place down if I want a caretaker and and just kind of hoping that we, that we can ease this transition, then you have to go with different names. But what are those names? Who, who's, who really is available out there? Because Antonio Conte will bring a whole different atmosphere all, all together as well. But the most recent memory that we have of Antonio Conte is not the most positive one. No, it's kind of the same as United, right? A toxic situation so, somewhere else. So then you start thinking, what about in the national team? Uh, Who's out there that may be hanging on in their job that could possibly translate into success with a club team? Maybe Yogi Lowe, mm. who's barely hanging on with Germany, maybe transitions into a position here where the day-to-day -day job becomes a whole lot easier for him and a change of scenery that becomes a whole lot easier for him than it would currently with the German national team. Let me ask you one more thing on Simeone. He's Manchester United, and some people might think it's crazy to even ask this, a better job than Atletico Madrid right now? Like if you were in Simeone's shoes, I, I, you might get paid more, but is it a better job, a more, a more attractive job? Well, I, I can say that I believe the ceiling with Manchester United would be higher than with Atletico Madrid because I, I, I do think that the standards for Manchester United right now are so low that you walk into the door and you see improvement, and it doesn't have to be major improvement, but you see improvement, and all of a sudden you feel like you're taking steps forward. And it gives you uh, leeway as to what you, uh, room for mistakes can be for Diego Simeone. There is room for growth. Whereas for Atletico Madrid, you're always going to have Barcelona and Real Madrid there. And, and I just think he has maximized whatever he could get out of that group at Atletico Madrid. And so his time to go somewhere else has been for a long time now. I, I, I don't see where else he goes mm. with Atletico Madrid. I, he has achieved what I think that, that group could achieve. All right, that's all we've got for uh, extra time. No more questions? No Pat. Wait, you... let me see. I got two notepads to sift through, see if anybody got uh, it. In no, but I'm just nope. saying, if, just in case, you, you need to write that down or? I ran out of space, oh. even on my two notepads. I, I am in incredibly uh, The best part is you can't impressed. probably with the, the fact that you, you find logic in saying, I write it down, and then from there I can keep it in my head. It came from your head to begin with. Can you read any of that? That's, that's the best part, is that it's really just chicken scratch. So, so it's, it's just a sense of security. Yeah, it's my security blanket. Okay, well that's good. I, I'm glad I'm not your security blanket. Well, you know, you, you might be. Why do you think you're here on a Saturday? <laughs> oh, I, I don't do you know why that is. But let's why do you think you got called let's, in? Let's not make that a common occurrence. All right, well, uh, Dan has his two safety and security blankets here tomorrow. Stevie and Craig. Oh, that's the, a big, uh, that's a big The cuddly blanket. bunch. Uh, big they're blanket. here for the North London Derby, the West London Derby, the Merseyside Derby, all that ESPN Plus on Sunday. Enjoy.